My name is Sifu Boggy, and welcome to another episode of Ask Boggy. Well, one of the questions I sort of get asked, sort of a question, is about martial arts. Most people think, oh yeah, martial arts is fighting, isn't it? Well, martial arts is more than just fighting. The, the, the word itself, martial, meaning the military strategy of an art. The art is learning a system. So learning a, a system of a martial or physical side. But the martial arts themselves mm, were never just, or at least with the Chinese arts, they were never just about fighting. In, in war, the martial side, the martial art, was about strategy and, and fighting or defending and looking after yourself and others. But in peacetime, the same martial art taught self-awareness, self-respect, discipline, and self-empowerment, and gave you the skills to enhance in life. So the idea was, especially with the Taoist arts, is that they were two-sided, is that in wartime, they had one purpose, but in peacetime they had another purpose. So martial arts are partly about self-defense, but they're also about self-development and self-empowerment. So the art is about learning how to empower yourself and how understanding yourself and knowing yourself and therefore you can then know others. And then the martial side is the defending side to a degree, defending yourself, but also to defend others. Now originally, in all martial arts, when you look far, far enough back, especially in the Chinese arts, but, but also Japan and everywhere in, the, in over the planet, martial arts originally had a set of meditations a set of exercises that would focus the mind, would replenish energy, improve the health, in other words, what I would call a Qigong. And in Karate, for example, you have Katas. The Katas are a set of, of, of movements which show certain applications, but that same Kata is also what the Japanese would call a kikon, a energy exercise, generating energy, generating movement. But that movement is showing how you would naturally react in a certain situation. So originally martial arts had meditational side, they had an energy, ex energy exercise side, but they also had a philosophical side. One of the uh, things, and a very famous, in the past, very famous martial artist, Bruce Lee, he went to America and studied philosophy. And at first in America, they were very confused by this. They didn't understand this. But in the East, philosophy and martial arts go hand in hand. As well as um, healing in the original techniques, the original martial, martial artists were philosophers, but they also understood healing because the idea was is that no, not only you should be able to protect yourself, but you should be able to heal yourself and therefore others. In actual fact, my, my Sifu, father teacher, my master, he's, his first thing he would say is before you can learn to kill others, you must learn to heal others. So you must learn first how to fix people before you learn how to defend yourself from them or to attack other people. The idea was never to attack, the idea was to defend. But the first point was actually to heal. And then the interesting thing um, is that uh, Sun Tzu's, the art of strategy, was uh, Sun Tzu's was a, a philosopher, a a strategic. Um, he was a military uh, advisor and 
his art of strategy, which is now known, where well, originally was the art of war, is now known as the art of strategy, was ways of overcoming the enemy. Not destroying the enemy, not ridding yourself of the enemy, but absorbing the enemy's techniques and skills and power. And as I've said, that is the uh, Sun Tzu's the art of strategy is now used in Japanese business, Chinese uh, business, but it's also used in British and American bus business as well. The, these techniques, and you'll find these certain of these philosophies and techniques in NLP, neuro linguistic programming, as well as in psychology and in business strategy in general. So the idea of martial arts being just about war is more of a modern approach or modern point of view, but it's not true. Martial arts is about self-development, self-improvement, self-empowerment. Self-defence, ironically enough, is a byproduct, is the, the thing that really is, if you need it, it's there. But the point is, is that a martial art um, is there to enhance the mind, and enhance the body, and enhance the spirit. You can then go into martial arts, you can then go into the soft or internal arts, and the hard, um, hard external arts. But I think that's, that's for another time. But um, if you want to ask that question about what is hard, what is the terminology of the hard martial arts or soft martial arts or internal or external, then ask me the question and I'll happily answer. But I've answered the question for now about martial arts. So if you have any questions, send me a video response or just uh, message me. Take care. Bye for now. Love. Chi and Shen. See you through